Hello, excellent artist. Today I'm here to show you how to create the sky and the ground for your evergreen tree collage. Last week we made the paper for the trees. Today we're going to make the sky and the ground. So what you need are some crayons, a glue stick, and some paper. All right, let's get started. Okay, boys and girls, today what we're going to create is the snow and the sky for evergreen tree collage that we're going to finish next week. So today really all we're focused on is doing the ground and the sky. You'll notice I've added a few extra things to this. Now I use, in this one, I use blue paper, crayons, and a piece of white paper for the snow. Now if you don't have the colored paper, you can also take a regular white piece of paper and just color which is kind of nice in a way because then you can mix colors together. I've used some darker blues, some green blues, purples in my sky to do the same thing. So if you don't have colored paper, you can still do this with just white paper. All right, so here's what you, how you will start. You will get your paper, whichever you've decided to use, either a colored piece of paper, and hey, if you have a different color instead of blue, maybe you have green, or if you have purple, you could use that as well. It doesn't really matter to me on the color. So what I have is I have my paper and I am going to create the snow using a separate white piece of paper. So what you want to do if you're at home is make sure that it is the same width as your other papers that you're going to glue on. Also another thing to keep in mind is that it sh both of this, this big paper should be um, larger than the paper that we made last week. All right, so you could just glue it on like this just to have flat snow, but I'm going to create a little more interest in my, in my snow by tearing. Now I don't want to tear off too much and I want to control how this is tearing. So you'll notice when I'm tearing, I keep my fingers really close together. Now, if I go down a little bit more, it'll look like a hill. If I tear up, I'll be going up a hill. So if you don't like something, you can go back and tear more off. Or if you're pleased with the way that looks, you can take your glue stick and you can glue this onto your paper. So make sure you're getting plenty of glue right up to the edges. Make sure you get some down in the corners. And if your fingers get a little sticky, don't worry about that. You can wash them off later when you're done with the art project. I always wait to the end because you never know if my fingers are gonna get messy. Now the trick is making sure the white corner, the snow corners, match your sky paper in the corner. You don't wanna ha leave an extra space of color hanging out at the bottom. Then push this down. I even turn it over at this point usually and massage just to make sure we're getting good contact and that we don't have any places sticking up. If you notice some, is, if it's still popping off a lot, you may need to go back and add more glue. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some crayons to add snowflakes in the sky. And there's a couple ways to do that. You can do dots. I'm using white to start with. I might go back and add a different color in just a minute. Uh, if you would like to do snowflakes like this, where you make an X and then a line through, I know that some of these snowflakes are going to get covered up when we add our trees, but that is not worrying me right now. I'm just trying to fill up as many of these snowflakes as I can in my picture. Sometimes I'll switch back to doing dots. Wherever I think that feels like I'm getting too many stars, then I add more dots for a while. Now you could leave it this way where you just have white, but you can also add some colored snowflakes because this is art class. So if you want to try uh, doing it a little different, you can. I am going to take and I'm going to do the same thing, but maybe with a blue crayon since I have blue paper. If you were doing, if you had a green paper, you might want to choose green to match. Or if you had pink paper, a pink crayon. I think I should do some dots too. Sometimes I like to put these dots close to the other ones and sometimes I like to leave them in a space. Make sure I don't forget about the corners up here. 
and down here. Just trying to get a lot on here because you never know which ones are going to get covered up and which ones you might see in the end. The more snowflakes, I think the better. And if it feels like you're getting too many colored snowflakes, then go back and add some more white ones. When you're making your dots, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm not just pounding on my paper, I'm pushing and then just giving a small little wiggle, not like a big circle, just little dots like this. I think I'm going to add some more blue dots over here. It doesn't seem like I have very many on this side. Now, once you've decided you have enough snow in your picture, I think that looks really nice. What you can do is turn it over and write your name on the back. If you're at school, you should also write your teacher code. If you're at home, make sure you save this paper for next week. Because remember, we're going to use this paper along with the one that you've made today for our collage. A collage, boys and girls, if I haven't told you, is a picture made up of cut or torn pieces of paper usually. And sometimes you can draw and decorate or paint on those papers ahead of time and then cut out or tear out your shapes after, which is kind of what we're doing. So save these papers for next week and I will show you how to make this into evergreen trees. I'll see you next time. Bye.